Good morning, everyone. Uh, day one. <laughs> we started out driving uh, yesterday from our house in Ohio all the way down to Bland, Virginia, and stayed at Angel's Rest Hostel. Uh, Doc Pepper, uh, Mount Mike. Mount Mike was our shuttle driver this morning. And uh, there's another hiker there by the name of Sober uh, that was through hiking and Stopped there in July and just stayed. <laughs> so we are in Atkins right now, Atkins, Virginia. And our plan is to hike north 80 miles, uh, just to south of Parisburg by Woods Hole Hostel. Um, plan on seven days, taking it easy. But basically what we're doing is we're filling in a gap. Our first hike, section hike, was from Atkins to Damascus through Grayson Highlands. And then we did from Parisburg to Dalesville doing the Virginia Triple Crown. And we're filling in that gap in between. So that is our plan. We'll bring you guys along, show you some sights. Should have some good weather. Doesn't look like it today, but it is warm. It's 54 degrees already at 8.30 in the morning. And it's supposed to be warm most of this week. A little bit of rain at the end of the week. So. We'll see you guys on down the trail. Uh, a couple words from Tracy. Hi, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your time with you and your family as we enjoy our time out here in nature. back in there those are the clouds rolling in we're gonna be sacked in some clouds here real soon but then it's supposed to clear up later on today so we're gonna try to get up this hill and over it before we get hit by these things because I'm sure there's moisture in those clouds
Hi, uh, how are you feeling? Well, I just fell. See this little knob? Camouflage. It tripped me. I fell face down. Yeah, oh. I was back up the trail up there a little ways, putting the camera away, and all of a sudden I see her just go shoot straight down, face first into the ground. My shoulder hurts. That's it, yeah. though. Yeah, she's got some mud on her, but. <sighs> All right, well, that's good. It could have been a lot worse. Someone maintenance. Yeah, come, come get yeah, rid trail of maintenance. Get rid of that thing. <laughs> So we're back on trail after eating some lunch. It was nice to take a break. There was water there too, which was really cool. We have one massive climb right in front of us, about 900 feet, and then down and then up, about another 300 footer. Um, we're gonna try to make another six miles. Remember that beautiful sight we stopped to look at? Well, at the bottom of the hill, there's a water source. And we always talk about that we never ever stealth camp at these amazing spots. We always push the miles and keep going. And I made the decision that we should stop. It's only 10 miles for the day and it's only 2.30. But look at this. What a great opportunity. And so this is gonna be home tomorrow. I'll be sad when I gotta push uh, those extra three miles, but for today, I'm happy. Well, that's it for day one. Uh, only 10 miles. Um, we just, <laughs> it's trying to get used to it, getting our trail legs. Uh, tomorrow, we're hoping to do 14.7 miles up to Chestnut Knob Shelter. Um, hopefully the wind dies down here. It's supposed to die down here about one o'clock. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. morning it's day two um, definitely interesting night last night uh, first the wind <laughs> about 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts um, I made sure that we didn't have any widow makers above us but 
we were in the woods and I was constantly worried about trees falling down. Um, also, the wind was so strong. I had rocks on the stakes of the duplex and it still <laughs> woke up in the middle of the night and it was knocked over on Tracy's side. Um, and then the rain, the rain came a couple of times and it was torrential. We managed to keep everything dry except for our backpacks. The bottoms of our backpacks got a little bit wet, but that's not that bad. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of rain. <laughs> um, our goal today is to do 10 to 11 miles. There's a campsite just at the bottom of Chestnut Mountain or Chestnut Knob. Um, I don't think we're gonna, we can make it up to the shelter today because um, we are both feeling a little under the weather. Sinuses. Um, took some Advil and some Dayquil. See how that goes. So, so that's our plan today. So we'll see you guys on down the trail. Can you get it, Nancy? <laughs> Ta da! Yay! Okay, so we made it about three and a half miles in, and this is our situation, which started out feeling under the weather is the full blown flu. So we called the shuttle, uh, they're coming to pick us up, and we're gonna head back home tonight. How are you feeling? Super sick. Yeah. Hot so, and cold. sweating and dizzy, and some of these trails we do not wanna be dizzy on. So, so that's where we're at. We never even got to the first shelter our first day. I think we made it like 12 miles the whole thing. So, I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back over spring break though to finish up this gap. We'll talk to you guys later. And we're back. Hey, how you feel? Snap, I'm ready to go. Yeah, only 14 weeks later. So <laughs> let's get back up on this trail. <laughs> let's get to Parisburg. There we are. Okay. Yep.
It's weird how there's no snow on the trail, but there's hardly been anybody walking through here. Okay, we are back on the trail again after a 14 week break while Tracy laid there on that picnic table and recuperated from the flu. I'm all better now. <laughs> Yeah, that was a rough one for her. We actually got off the trail then, drove all the way back to Ohio, and she slept the whole way there. So we got a short day today. We have three miles, um, roughly. We're camping by a river crossing, so we have water. And it's gonna be chilly tonight, about 27 degrees. And I have a 40 degree quilt. I have my sleeping bag. I will be nice and toasty. Yeah, so everything you see me wearing, I will probably have on tonight, plus a quilt. But uh, once we get through tomorrow, the rest of the week is supposed to be in the mid to high 70s during the day and mid 50s at night. So it's going to be a beautiful week. We got about 68 miles to get back to Woods Hole Hostel in Parisburg. Believe it or not, there's snow on the trail. It has <laughs> rained on us today, snowed and been sunny all yeah. in about one and a half miles yeah it's like we never left ohio all right guys we'll see you on down the trail probably at uh the campsite So end of the day recap, um, didn't do much filming. The snow just kept coming down. You could probably see in the tent here, all the water and the snow sitting on the tent. It was uh, a bit challenging trying to get dinner made and to get changed. And like we are in a Z-Pack duplex and I'm six foot four. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it was kind of challenging, but we're in bed, um, it's about 7.30. So it's supposed to be about 27 degrees tonight, maybe about a half inch of snow. I'm in a 40 degree quilt. Tracy's in a 30 degree mummy bag. We mummy are bag. both bundled up. We're just trying to get through the next 36 hours because this is Saturday evening. Come Monday, it is going to be gorgeous out the whole rest of the week. So that's our thought process just get through these this next 36 hours so got my hand warmers i'm ready yeah all hand five warmers. six of them so <laughs> all right guys uh we will talk to you in the morning